Hey there, it's Jessica. Um, today I wanted to make a little video showing how I set up my August 2022 planner. Um, I will be uh, using my Planner Perfect um, planner. So here's my monthly planner here. Um, and then this is my um, traveler's notebook. I'm gonna do a little video on it. I got it from a company called The Leather Quill Company. I believe that's their name. Um, I really like it. It's this beautiful um, leather, brown leather here. Um, and then here they call this, um, I think this is the July Dragon leather. So it is leather with this like beautiful sort of iridescent um, little look to it. And it does open up. It has it on both sides. So um, I think I've had it since like maybe February, January, something like that. And I, I like it. It's pretty neutral. It goes with a lot of my um, planners and stuff. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I'll do a little video on that later, kind of talking about that more. Okay, so here's my July book. Um, I did a pretty good job at it. There were some days that I didn't have a lot to write, um, but yeah, that's my um, my July book. Here it is. I'm gonna take it out and here's it's gonna fit right in here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away for now. I'm just gonna put it off to the side. And um, <clears throat> I've done a couple little things on it. I haven't completed it fully, um, but I do want to show that a little bit, what I've done. All right, so here, um, sometimes I like to write like little quotes that I find about the month, things like that. So um, for this month, I found this quote and it says, August, it's like the Sunday of summer. So the, kind of those last days of summer, um, I, I really liked that little quote. All right. I'm going to add in um, another one right here because I thought it'd be kind of cute. All right. I found this on Pinterest. Um, it didn't have like an author or anything like that, but I found it on Pinterest. So I'm just going to write it here. So lazy summer afternoons. Walks along the beach. Balmy. Just out of reach. Sailing on a lake. These are the simple treasures 
of which August So lazy summer afternoons, walks along the beach, balmy evening nights, stars just out of reach, sailing on a lake, hammocks in the shade. These are the simple treasures of which August days are made. So I thought that was really cute. Um, I'm going to put a couple little stickers here just to kind of decorate it. And I think I'm going to use this cute little seahorse. And I'm also going to put this one right here. So I think that'll be really cute. All right. So we're going to turn the page here and um, usually what I do on this page is I'll just kind of um, put a little washi tape on the areas that are um, sort of blank, that don't have numbers for the month. So I'm going to start off with that. I'm going to use... I'm going to use this. Yeah. Usually I'll just put little tiny bits. This one's gonna be really small just because it's just one little day. Oops. There we go. And then there's three boxes down here that are empty. Put the washi tape there, one on the bottom, and one in the middle, or on uh, uh, the top. And then the middle's gonna be sort of blank, but that's okay. I'm gonna go in, and then I'm gonna use some little stickers. Let's see. These are from um, last month's box, um, and I, I kind of like the colors for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one. So this is my 12 month planner and I have this one I use, I put it in my book, my, my traveler's notebook. This is kind of my forward planning um, book since this is just, these are just monthly notebooks and this one's my um, yearly and I can forward plan for the year. I've already ordered my book for 2023. That way I can, if any appointments come up or anything like that or that are in 2023, I can already start putting those dates in there. Um, so I already have that. I'll show that later. But um, yeah, so uh, here I have um, things that I've already written, you know, that, that's part of my schedule, things like that. Um, appointments, birthdays, anniversaries. Uh, this year we're, we're celebrating, my husband and I are celebrating our 19th anniversary. So um, that's really, really cool. Can't believe it's been 19 years. My son's starting uh, his first grade this year too. And um, 
Let's see. Oh, I forgot something here. Um, my best friend from when we were like five years old. Um, we've remained really good friends. Um, Stacy, she's uh, celebrating her 39th birthday, so we're going to um, a dinner. So, but Stacy's birthday. So for right now, that's what I remember um, that we have here. But anyway, what I was trying to say is that um, I don't want to double, like I don't need to write the same things, be redundant basically. Um, and so what I plan to do for this month's um, calendar um, is write down the dinners that we have. Um, one of my goals for this month is to eat more at home, make dinners and, and lunches at home. Um, in June and July, uh, I was post-operative uh, major surgery. And so um, we tended to eat, eat out quite a bit. And um, you know, I don't want to do that. It's not that healthy. And um, we also end up spending a lot more money than we need to on food. So anyway, um, that's one of my goals. So I decided that I wanted to use this um, monthly layout to write down the dinners that we have. And also, so that way at the end of the month, I can sort of um, take a look at how many times do we eat out. Um, uh, what were some of the dinners that we had? And that way it'll give me an idea for future months. What would be some good dinners, um, good ideas and stuff. I would just come back here and then um, just write down a few more ideas that we have for, for the following months. These are the, uh, we got four goals pages. Um, I'm gonna write those on my own. Um, but some of my goals that I have um, are, obviously we talked about food already, making more food at home. Um, my husband's a good cook and um, he loves to cook, but like I said, last month when when I, um, when I had my surgery, May 24th, um, and it was a major surgery. Um, I just um, recovered, I guess. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a breast cancer survivor, it's kind of funny. I'm not funny saying it, but it's just different. I, I don't say it a lot. Um, and uh, I went through 16, oops. 16 chemotherapies um, and I went through a bilateral mastectomy and I had the deep flap breast reconstruction um, and it was a big surgery and I'm still having some issues with it, um, some wound healing issues. Um, but anyway, that kind of prevented us from like, you know, he had a lot on his plate so didn't eat home a lot, but hopefully this this uh, August will be a different month and um, healing and uh, yeah, things should be starting to get better. Another big goal that I have is um, I want to, I found this um, blog called The Clean Mama and it's been around for years, uh, but I just never heard of it. But um, The Clean Mama uh, is a, basically like a cleaning routine. Uh, for your house um, to try to stay on top of your your household cleaning and all that sort of stuff so um in the back here i wrote i kind of printed out some of her printables she's got a website called i think it's the clean mama.com I'll, I'll link it below um but she's got a lot of free printables um which is pretty cool a lot of really cool resources um she's got a couple of little youtube videos but there um there's not too many but um anyway the the ones that she has are, are really helpful um, but I went to her website, printed out some, some printables. Um, I'm just gonna go over that here. At the end of my book here, I had a few extra pages. And so what I did was I just cut them to fit my, my book here, my notebook. Um, I put a little piece of washi tape here and then I just folded it so that it'll stay like this. But it'll be a little reference guide for me because um, there's um, certain tasks that she has you do. So the first one is 
there's um, five daily tasks. Um, the five daily tasks are check the floors. So basically what that means is, um, doesn't mean that you have to um, sweep or vacuum or mop or whatever, but if you see something like crumbs out, uh, under the dinner table or something like that, um, that, you know, I'll just bring out my uh, Dyson cordless and just vacuum it, vacuum it up. Um, the second one is wipe counters. Um, that means uh, wiping the counters of your kitchen um, at the end of the day when you're done using it. Um, also bathrooms, um, trying to uh, make sure that the counters are, are nice and clean. They don't have spots on them or you know anything like that that develop uh, you know during the day. And you wipe them off uh, in the evening. The other thing that this includes is um, she includes like cleaning your sink. Um, and so uh, she has a baking soda um, with essential oils uh, little recipe and I started doing that already. Um, I've been really liking it. Um, it gets my uh, sink, my kitchen sink nice and clean um, and uh, yeah, it smells really nice too and it's really nice and clean so I've like been liking that. I've only been doing it for like maybe, maybe four or five days by now. Uh, the third uh, daily task is to clear clutter. Um, so she has you going through, you know, the main areas where you tend to collect clutter. Um, it might be the um, kitchen island or for some people, maybe the kitchen table or a little table in the, the living room or something like that. But you want to make sure you go through there, whether it's your mail, stuff like that, um, and, and, you know, clear it out, make sure that you, you know, organize where those papers need to be. For, me, for us, it tends to be paper clutter. So yeah, um, going through and doing that daily is good. The other one, the fourth one is um, laundry. Um, so she recommends that you do a um, load of laundry every day. Um, it's only three of us, so I'm not sure if we're going to need to do a load of laundry every day, but I'm gonna try my best to do that. Um, the fifth one is, uh, fifth daily task is to make your bed. Um, and so that one's a really easy one. You just get out of bed and, and make it. So um, I haven't had any issues with that one. Okay, the second part are your weekly tasks. So every day of the week, Monday through Saturday, in addition to your daily tasks, you have one extra task to do. So on Mondays, it's clean the bathrooms. Um, we have three bathrooms, um, so I don't think that'll be too hard. Just you know, putting in some uh, toilet bowl cleaner and cleaning that up. And uh, th the other thing that uh, she said is to make sort of like um, a system where maybe you have like a, a bucket that has all your cleaning supplies in there for the restroom when you have to clean your restrooms on Mondays or like a little cleaning caddy or something like that. So I'm gonna do that today. <clears throat> I'm gonna set up my my cleaning caddy uh, so that it has all the things that I need for cleaning a restroom or restrooms. Um, Tuesdays are dusting all surfaces. On Wednesday, you vacuum the floors in your carpet. On Thursday, you mop your floors. On Friday is a day to catch up, so if there was a day where you didn't get to do something, um, you can catch up on that day um, or take care of extra clutter, um, clear out you know, anything that you need to do on, on that day. Saturdays are uh, the days that you wash your sheets and towels because um, on a daily basis you've been washing your clothes, so at the end of the week it's not like you have to do like four loads of laundry or five loads of laundry, whatever it is, uh, for your family. Um, the only thing that's left would be your sheets and your towels to wash. Um, the other thing that I do on Saturdays is I always um, change out our bed sheets. Um, so that's kind of included on that for me. Um, the rotating tasks are, um, uh, oh, so the rotating tasks, you can do them on your Friday, your day to catch up. Um, but, but these are things like uh, 
vacuum and wash baseboards, clean the light fixtures, wash rugs and launder bedding. Like I said, I do that on Saturdays. Um, clean the oven and other appliances, clean fridge and the freezer, polish wood furniture, spot clean walls and furniture, rotate vacuum mattresses, oh, oh rotate and vacuum mattresses, um, wash windows, replace filters, wash windows, okay, that's only twice, and wipe switches, um, like light switches, uh, phones, remotes, things like that, so those are pretty easy. And then she also has monthly tasks on her website. Um, I actually, it reminds me I have to do that for August, but yeah, so I'll have to look on that. On the other side, I have the August homekeeping calendar. Oh. Um, it's another free printable that she has on her website. Uh, but yeah, so it's got the little calendar for, for August. And then um, it's got your five daily tasks plus um, your um, weekly task. So bathrooms on Monday, Tuesdays, dust house, Wednesdays, vacuum. So this will be a cool little printable to just come here and just wipe things or, or just check things off as, as you do it. Yeah, so I have that in the back because that's a big goal of mine for the for August. Let's go back to this weekly layout here. So we've got the weekly layout: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I just put two little pieces of washi tape here. Um, I don't have a lot of stuff going on this week um, in terms of like scheduled appointments. That's where I put. I'm sorry, this is where I put those appointments is on this page. Um, I don't have a lot. I only have one at this time. Uh, so Tuesday, I have a wound care follow-up. Yeah, so this we might be going to visit my family and to also go to the beach. Um, but I'm not really sure the dates. Um, my husband took off from Friday till like, maybe the 15th, I think, is when he goes back to work. So he yeah, took a few days off of work. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to go visit his family and then head down to the beach as well. Um, but I don't have the dates quite yet, um, so I'll probably figure that out today or tomorrow, what our dates are going to be. But we might be gone this weekend or the beginning of the following week. We're not entirely sure. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up my daily, um, uh, my, my days.
let's see. Oh, I wanted to say that I write down my city's um, forecast, but um, if we leave like, um, let's say Saturday, we leave down to the beach, I'll write down their um, temperatures as well. And then I'll just kind of write in um, South Padre Island, and then I'll write down the, the temperatures for that, that area. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Um, this morning we're going to have, on Monday morning, we're going to have our generator, generator arrives. Um, so yeah, we ordered a generator that way if we lose power or anything like that during the hot summer months or even the cold um, winter months, we um, have something that will help us, you know, keep our our meat freezers and our refrigerator cold and throw some fans on and stuff like that. So yeah, we have that coming on Monday. Um, I don't think my calendar has anything else. But um, let's see. I'm gonna finish doing the um, washi for the days. To, um, I think my monthly planner is going to be a B6 and then which is like an inch shorter um, it's it's as wide as the wide but it's going to be an inch shorter um, and then I got the journal the monthly journal in the B6 slim so I think it's going to be gosh I can't remember the number but it's going to be quite a bit smaller but yeah I just wanted to try something different and um, see if I like it um, that's the cool thing about the subscription box is you can have your journal be any size and your planner be any size. So they can be different, different sizes if you want them to be. Um, on this one, these are my Saturday and Sunday uh, pages. So I'm just going to go all the way instead of um, three quarters of the way up. Okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to write down the days the date as well. Um, lately I've been liking writing the day in the middle so um, and I'm using my uh, mild liner in I think this is like light gray. Gosh yeah it's just gray. Um, so I've been using my mild liner um, and let's see this is Monday the first. So I'll put the date over here. Tuesday, the second. Wednesday, the third. Thursday the 4th, Friday the 5th, and then my Saturday. And then the next 
weeks are, uh, the next week is here, um, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to do the first week. The other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through with my stickers and just kind of decorate it a little bit and make it look cute. So since um, this day has a little washy with the sunflowers, I'm just going to add this color or add this yellow here. Actually, you know what? That's going to be a good day, a good one to use on the day that we decide to travel. So I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use this one. Okay. I'm just pre-decorating it a little bit. Sometimes I add in my own pictures um, through my Canon. Oh my gosh, what is it called? It's the little, the little print camera picture, uh, printer. Um, I want to say it's Ivy, Canon Ivy, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, I have one of those and sometimes I'll decorate it with that. I'm going to save a lot of these like beach ones for when I'm actually at the beach. So that's why I'm kind of like, what would I use? Um, yeah. I like the artwork that, that Danny does. Um, some cute little cactus there. Um, and for this one, I'm also going to pull out my July um, stickers and you know what that might be better yeah, I'm gonna use this pretty purple over here I'm not like super picky about my stickers that I use but I do like them to coordinate a little bit at least um, I'm gonna put this one it says hello summer I like that one Let's see what else we've got here. I'll use this one right here. Go. Saturday, I'm going to put on. So yeah, um, throughout the week I might add in some more little stickers that I want to um, add in. Um, the other thing I'm going to do here just to sort of um, reinforce the idea of my um, cleaning uh, little goals that I have for this month is I'm going to write in the things I should be doing. So Mondays are... I have to refer back to here because I can't remember. Dust house and vacuum. I'll call it mopping. I'm gonna call it washing floors, but um, and then this is a catch all day, and then change wash sheets. And towels. There you go. And then you don't do anything on Sunday, which is cool. So there's that. Um, okay, the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to write down all my meals, do my meal planning. So let's see. 
I have this little journal that came in, I want to say in June. This was my journal for June. Um, and I didn't really use it as a journal, so I just started to write down my my uh, weekly meal plan and then my shopping list. Um, typically, I really just plan for the dinners and then we we have stuff here for like lunches and stuff, sandwiches and quesadillas and things like that. So, um, but I think this week I did, I am gonna do some lunch, lunch ideas too, just to have it there. All right, um, I'll put down my washi first. Let's do this one. So, um, one of the things that we did recently was we bought an extra um, freezer. And um, we had a small freezer and a small extra freezer. Um, but it was it was a little too small so um we ended up buying a, like a chest uh, freezer it's a deep one but it's just a little bit bigger um and we ordered uh, some meats from this company called 1915 farm and it's a grass-fed um grass-fed all, all their products are grass-fed and the reason we liked this one is because they sell beef chicken and pork and so the grass-fed foodie box is the one that we ordered um, and I think it was like $170 um, but we know that the food is um, or that the animals are are grass-fed they're um, fed a really, really good diet of grass and little bugs, you know, the, the chickens have little bugs and stuff like that to, to eat and all that. Um, so we know that the food is, is um, raised really well. Um, and um, I have a condition called ulcerative colitis. So the food that I eat is really important for me. I don't wanna be eating things that are really like um, inflammatory to my system, things like that. Um, so I'm trying my best to do that. Also, because I'm now a breast cancer survivor, I just want to take good care of myself um, with my food. And not that I wasn't before. I mean, this can happen to anybody, whether you're um, taking good care of yourself or not. Um, so anyway, uh, but I want to do my best that I can to um, prevent recurrence and things like that. Uh, but yeah, we ordered uh, the $170 grass-fed foodie box. It just came in, uh, I think, on July 27th. Um, and so my, what my plan was, was to write down what we received. Um, so we received whole chicken, which is three and a half pounds, uh, chicken wings for 1.8 pounds. We got chicken breasts, one pound, but we already used that, so I scratched it out. Um, we got leg quarters, uh, chicken leg quarters. We got ground pork. We got a half rack of spare pork ribs, and we got ground beef, three packages of one pound, and we got stew meat, and then a rump roast. So what I wanted to do was, I wanted to write down um, some ideas for those um, those items. That way we, um, you know, it doesn't sit in our freezer forever. So with the whole chicken, I'm just gonna write a little, little arrow going that way. Um, our idea was to do a smoked chicken. My husband loves to barbecue. Um, so he's gonna smoke the chicken. And then I even have some ideas for the sides. Corn on the cob, which we already have in the freezer. Um, and then maybe make like a, a, a salad. Okay, uh, for the chicken wings, uh, I'm gonna write a little arrow and we're gonna do air fryer chicken wings. My husband has been doing them like this and they are so delicious. Really has a nice um, a little like crunchy skin on the outside. I used to hate chicken wings when I was younger, but um, my husband has uh, really done a good job at making the chicken wings really tasty for me so 
Oh, that was like, what? Uh, the, the thing, um, my son likes uh, chicken wings as well. And um, he likes to eat them with uh, deviled eggs. And so do we. So I'm going to, oh my gosh, I can't write. Deviled eggs. And we like to have um, carrots cut up and we dip it in um, ranch for, and we also use that ranch for the chicken wings too. Um, okay, so the leg quarters, um, we had an idea of maybe just barbecuing them or air frying them as well would work. Uh, and then my idea was to make uh, sweet potatoes. Usually I like to do them in the air fryer, but um, I can I can bake them or air fry. Either work. So if we decide to do the chicken in the air fryer, then I'll do the sweet potatoes in the oven. And then, oh, I had this um, recipe I wanted to do. It was like a pasta with um, mushrooms. spinach and parmesan. I'm just going to shorten it for parm. And then for ground pork, the idea was to do, oh, I, I found this uh, recipe. It was years ago and I've been doing it for a while. It's called egg roll in a bowl. And it's basically everything that you put on the inside of an egg roll, but without the, the egg roll. Um, and we use, uh, I use this stuff called broccoli slaw. So it's like a, it's like a slaw, um, like a packaged, um, it, every, all the vegetables are already there, um, but it's got broccoli in it. I don't know how, but it tastes really good. And, um, I just use that with that. So that's kind of like our little vegetable already sort of mixed in there. For the spare pork ribs, we had an idea of doing them, um, Ribs in the Instant Pot. Um, my husband loves to smoke um, things and, and barbecue things, but he was saying that the, the half rack is a little small to do all that work. So he was like, I think the Instant Pot would work well. So we thought about doing that and making pulled pork out of that. Um, and then I was going to put on here, uh, use on tostadas. Tostadas are like crunchy, um, corn tortillas, um, almost like a big chip, <laughs> if you want to say it that way. And then, um, what you do is you just layer on like beans, if you want beans or cheese. Um, and then we could put the pulled pork on top. Um, my son really likes them, so, um, quesadillas, um, or on potato, sweet or Yukon potato, whatever we have in, in stock at that time. Um, the stew meat, let's see, oh. Uh, we're going to turn this to chili. Um, and thinking about doing like maybe like a Frito pie. Um, if you're from Texas, you probably know what that is. If you're not, which I lived in California for a while and I was like, oh, I really want a Frito pie. And no one knew what I meant. <laughs> but a Frito pie is basically you get fries. I mean, uh, Fritos. Um, you make your chili and you put that on top with a little bit of like maybe melted cheese, not melted cheese, but you put like um, cheese that you grate, um, like cheddar or something. And then um, some people put like lettuce and tomatoes on top of it too. Um, rump roast. Um, our idea with that, oh, these sound good. So was um, uh, a Mississippi pot roast. I think that's what it's called. If you decide to like 
Google it or go on to Pinterest or Google it or something. It's a Mississippi pot roast, but it's a pot roast that has like pepperoncinis in there and um, different spices. It makes like this little juice and oh, it's so delicious. Um, or Italian beef. Oops. Italian beef sandwiches. Okay, so those are the ideas we had for the, um, the the box of meat that we that we got. Okay, so now I'm gonna make my oh here at the top. I'm gonna write in. And then shopping list. I get my ruler and I'm just going to do a line like that. I'm going to write in Monday, Sunday. Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Friday, and Thursday. So I just do that so hopefully I even them out. This one I put a little too low, so that's why it looks like that. But let me get my little ruler again and then just do the horizontal lines. So I think Jenny has a book on the, uh, a notebook already created like this, but um, I didn't have anything else to do with this little uh, journal. Um, and so what I, what I like about doing my own is that um, like I can write down things that we liked or recipes that we really liked like last month or last week, a couple days ago, we made this lemony asparagus and bacon pasta salad. Um, and so I decided to just write the uh, recipe here so that I have it for reference for future weeks and stuff. Um, but yeah. Okay. So. Lunch is going to be, um, I'm going to make two tuna salad plus, um, like a, almost like a cob salad, but I don't have bacon right now, so I'm not going to put the bacon in, but I'm going to do that. Dinner is going to be, oh, something we, it's called garlic. Garlic butter steak. Garlic butter steak with Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes. Ah, I did not give myself enough room. That's okay. Um, and then for Tuesday, lunch is tostadas. Dinner is beef kefta. So it's kind of like a kebab. You just get meat, season it up, and then you put it like on a um, metal stick, and then you um, grill it or however you want to do that. Um, I'm also going to make homemade hummus. My son really likes that. A tomato and cucumber salad and then homemade um, I think this is how you pronounce it tzatziki so it's like the little sauce that you put it's like a white sauce 
Um, it was like yogurt and mint and stuff like that. And you just put it on top. It's so delicious. Wednesday lunch, um, we can use the leftover ground beef that we have for the tostadas for quesadillas. Quesadillas. And then for dinner, oh, this is going to be a good one. We're going to do like a Vietnamese, Vietnamese noodle um, bowl. So you use like a, the um, rice noodles, um, and but we're going to make it with a sen. And I, I have a YouTube that I that I found that had a good um, recipe for that, so I'm gonna do that. Lunch. Oh, I think I still have to do that one. I'll think about what to make on that day. On this one, we're gonna do air fried chicken. Um, mashed potatoes. And Caesar salad. Um, for Friday, Friday we always like to do pizzas. So we'll do pizza for dinner, and then lunch. I'll have to think about those two. And then I, I don't think we're gonna be here for Saturday, Sunday, so I didn't write anything. But if we decide to stay here and then just go next week. Then we'll then I'll go ahead and, and write something in for Saturday and Sunday. Um, okay. So for the um, now I'm gonna just write down what I the ingredients that I need. So we're gonna. Called, I'm gonna butcher this, but I'm gonna spell it N U C O C. I'm not sure if I wrote that down right. Chom sauce. Nuok chom sauce. 
uh, but it's made out of like fish sauce, uh, vinegar, garlic, uh, Thai chili peppers, lime carrots, sugar. You just mix it up and you put it over your rice noodles with the salmon. It's gonna be super delicious. I've had it at kind of restaurant. It was so good. So we're gonna re recreate that at home. Um, but yeah, that was, so that's our weekly meal plan. Again, I didn't do Saturday, Sunday, because I think we might be gone, but if I need them, um, even if we are gonna be gone, I'll probably just do a whole other meal plan here so that when we arrive to San Padre, we could um, go to H-E-B and, um, you know, do our, our uh, meal, our grocery shopping there. Um, but yeah, I think that is it. And now I'm just going to put my books into my traveler's book up here. planner, my yearly planner, a journal, and then my meal meal planner and my full recipe book. I'm also going to switch out some of the in this little secretarial pocket that we have here. I'm going to take out just the ones that I would use at this time. Oh, there's quite a few I would still use. I'm going to take those. These are like little tippins, and I do use them. I just, I guess I don't use them enough because I have a lot here. So, oh, I need to make a plan for using those. There we go. Okay, and then we've got these over here. All these. I'm gonna put some in the back and then I'm gonna stick some up here in this little pocket. Let's see what else I got in here. Oh, little stickers. Put them there. And then I'm gonna go to the back pocket and put these there. I had seen these like little plastic, um, they, they kind of like, go around here kind of like this and I, I think I'm gonna go look for them. I don't know where to find them but I'll watch a YouTube video where someone talks about them so that I can uh, or I can get those. Alright that is my August um, first week of August. I'm gonna go through um, I usually write do my daily planning um, on a daily basis and I don't do it at the beginning of the week. All at once I do it um, daily. So um, I'll probably record one of those uh, later and it won't be this long. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye.